But if someone here tonight that I want to mention first, and he's scheduled to be deployed overseas, Michael, could you just stand up? <laughs> See that man? Drop them out of the There was a rumor that a C-130 flew over and he dropped them on the shore. It's not true. Michael didn't do that. He swam here from Long Island. <laughs> very, very tough, you know. But, uh, but I just want to just see, you know, when, when you hear these faces and hear these numbers, that's who you're thinking of. A guy like him, and we owe lots of them. So, you know. What? Now, Matthew wanted me to, uh, he came to me first, and then, of course, you now he cleared everything with Aaron, which is going to, I'll get to that in a minute. But he asked me to say a blessing, and of course, speaking as a Christian, which is the only way I can speak without a way, I go to this, you know, so, shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for everyone gathered here from far and away. We thank you for giving us a safe trip, and we've enjoyed your company so much. We ask you. We pray for them, and we even pay for the people that are serving us and the, the fine food that we're eating. But we ask that you bless this couple and uh, let this couple know that they've got great examples. They know what faithfulness looks at it, and their grandparents, their parents, that a long line of love has been set. So we ask that you give your blessings on these, this couple and, and enable them to put up with the toils and trauma and the things that occur through life and the pleasures and the pain. And now we ask all of these things, we ask these things in Jesus' name, our Savior. Amen. Amen. I promise. 
So Dr. Cox said, relationships aren't like what you see on TV and in the movies. Will they, won't they, and then they finally do and they're happy forever? Give me a break. Nine out of ten end because they weren't right for each other to begin with. And half the ones that get married get divorced. But through all of this, I haven't become a cynic. I haven't. You can call me a sucker, but I do believe in it. The bottom line is, couples that make it go through the same crap as everybody else. But the difference is, one of them will stand up and fight for that relationship every time if it's right. Aaron and Matt, I believe that you were that couple. You have already been through law school, residencies, and about a hundred different moves together. Even one of your very first dates was spent riding out a hurricane. And I know that no matter what else life throws at you, you will always have each other's backs. To Aaron and Matt. <laughs> and I can't win. And I know he's really nervous right now, so I think I'm going to let this go for a little bit. So, but uh, I'm happy to come up here to speak tonight. Aaron, we like you. We like you. You know else? We like you very much. We like you from the first moment. You showed up. You had dinner with us and read macaroni, and you told me your cousin pitched for the Mets. And your cousin happened to be the Dark Knight. And this was 2013. And my fork hit the table. And I pictured myself hanging out and drinking beers with the Mets. So you got a fun pass right away. But yeah, we like it. We're good. We're very happy to have the family. And so it's been a great time. And we're happy to join us. So my brother, we're going to start with Matthew. So Matthew, I think we should start with Matthew's athletic career. Matthew's had a way about him when I showed up at St. Joe's High School to watch him wrestle at a national champion. And this kid comes from a family of wrestlers. An absolute family of like five champions. These guys are studs. They played football, they began the NFL and you know me. And I get there and I'm walking through the bleachers and people are looking at me like, you know your brother's wrestling? You know who? The, the family name is Norgard. The Jersey guys, I remember them. And I'm like, oh, all right, so I'm going through the bleachers and looking at me like, no, your brother's wrestling. Like, yeah, I know. And they're looking at me with serious concern in their face because we're all worried that my brother's going to die. <laughs> so, you know, he didn't die, but he gets in there against this world champion, and I saw him look at my brother's face. And he's got his gear on, he's ready, and I'm like, oh, man, it's not worried. My mom's worried too, now she's here with Noah. And he just gets in there and takes a shot at him. Taken down in five seconds, he's done. Over. But my brother learned a valuable lesson about life. He took a shot at it. He took a shot at the champion. It was fantastic. He got his butt kicked, but it was fun. <laughs> and I think that that's how Matthew approaches his day as he becomes a very well respected surgeon. And you take that same glimmer in your eye when you're going against the champion, you took him down. And we're all very proud of you. And you are a great brother. So let's give it up.
Oh, you want to hear something?